This is David again, and I was asked to go over my installation on this uh, anchor miter gauge from Woodcraft on this sliding table. It gives you the repeatability of making accurate miters and square cuts where it was kind of hard to do that before. The previous rail that was on here was this one right here. And while it's a, it's a decent rail, mine came from the factory with a bow in it. So it's hard to get a straight square cut with a uh, bowed fence. So that's, that's really what drove me to do something about this. Uh, as you see here, I don't have the, uh, the clamp post on here. I do have it and it will, you can take the bolt out and actually put the post in if you wish to. I don't, I just don't use it very often. I primarily leave it just like this for the majority of the time. I will use the post every once in a while, but not, not often. And that being it, uh, really squaring it up every time is rather simple. Uh, you got your stop, your stop screw here. This, uh, flips down when you want to take it off. Uh, it's, at, it's really, once you put this in there, it's always going to be accurate. It's always square. And you can always check it to see, make sure that your table hasn't moved itself by, by just putting a square down and a straight edge and pushing it through. Well, there you are. You're squared up. If I can do this without moving it so much. As you see, it's staying square through the push. Which is what you want. And that, that is repeatable. Take it off as quick and easy. Just loosen the bolt. Take that out. Lift it straight out. Essentially all you have here is a milled slot into the table now. Which allows you to be able to put the miter gauge actually in. This miter gauge came with a bolt in. It's one of the few that does. I had to drill it out to the larger bolt that was needed here. And as you see, you're still using the rail that came with it. You just cut it off and round it off so it fits into the slot that you milled. Uh, needless to say, you needed additional support than what, what's right here at the table. So, Angle iron supports actually had to be installed on here with a plate coming across here. The adjustment actually stays where it is. Once you adjust this out, you can leave one side firm to where it's all, when you put this in, it's always up against this stop nut. And then you can just back this one off when you take it on and off so it's easier to put back in. So it makes it quick and easy and it makes it repeatable. I'll pull this around, give you a video of what it looks like underneath. Alright, to put the miter gauge back on, it's as simple as this. Of course, this is the Woodcraft Miter 1000 SE by Incra. 
Uh, if you had your, your stock flipped down, you'd have to flip it back up. Of course, it's going to stay where it is. You're going to set that right back down into it, into it, bring it back up against the stop bolt, screw, screw that screw in or put the post in if you wish, snug it down, run this all the way up to where it's holding it where it's supposed to be, and if you wish to check it, all you'd have to do is put the screw back on, put that up against, run that up against there, and it's dead on. Not gapping at all. So it's repeatable, it's easy, and it's really nice because you're able to reset it quickly to say 45 degrees if you wish, or 30, or anything else because there's 35, there's 40, there's 45. So it's quick and easy to reset exactly where you want it. And you can't go the opposite way with it too. I just usually most of the time use it this way. But and the other thing is is when you're you don't need it, say you want it you're cutting up against your fence. If you're using if you're just running some boards through there, I won't necessarily take this off. I'll just run I'll just run this like so so it's out of the way. I don't even have to take this off. I can sit here and run boards through over on this other side so it's nice does real well uh, this is not the fence that came with it the fence that came with it, it is an anchor style fence uh, it's one of them classical extendable fences I didn't particularly like it it was short I wanted a long piece of aluminum fence here so I, this is a, actually a Craig fence that's on here so I switched it out but uh, other than that I like it. It, is, it's, it. it was a good addition. And that's about it.